Good morning, Snippets. So I think I'm about to do what is officially the creepiest thing I've ever done, but look at this kid outside of the window. Okay, wait. Uh, there he is. Look at that kid right there. He is so cute. He's just sitting out on the quad, and he's like coloring or something, or doing homework. I don't know what he's doing, but it is so adorable, and I can't handle it. And I've just been like sitting here watching him from my window. I mean, not like creepily, but I mean kind of, but... <laughs> this is probably the weirdest thing I've ever done and I shouldn't have filmed this, but he's just so adorable and I want I want him to be my child. This is just getting more okay, I'm gonna stop. This is getting even more weird. So today I definitely woke up at like 3 p.m. and it's what time is it now? It's 345 and I've just taken a shower. Um sometimes sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do, you know, fall break, gotta gotta live it up. Gotta live it up by sleeping. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I feel really weird, and today's gonna seem really short for me, because I woke up at 3 o'clock. Huh. So, I just got finished watching the memorial episode for Cory slash Finn on Glee, and there were lots of tears involved, I will spare you the tears, but I, uh, it just really made me start thinking, like, the whole time I was watching it, like, the whole episode was, for those of you that live under rocks or don't know anything about any- I'm just kidding, that was really rude. I will tell you, for those of you that don't know, one of the characters that was on Glee recently died earlier this year, and they had his memorial episode today, uh, well, no, it came out yesterday, and I'm just not watching it today. And it just really made me start thinking about, like, what happened with me a couple weeks ago, and, like, how I want people to remember me for however I may die because the fact that I was quite frankly so close to death a few weeks ago it just it it made me really think like wh why do I want people to remember about me no matter how I die like I hope that it's not on purpose how I die but I mean however I may die like I was just thinking about like how how do I want people to remember like what I did you know and I think it just like, I think it hit more close to home just because this topic is, of death has been like so relevant in my life recently. So it just, there were, there were a lot of feels involved and many feelings being felt. But yeah, that's been the highlight of my day was watching an hour long cry fest with Glee. So I've realized recently that I have a, quite an obsession with rice. This is, I think my third bowl of rice today in like the five hours that I've been awake today. I don't know where this love of rice came- uh, no, that's a lie, I do know. Because I'm into like Japanese stuff and I don't know, I guess ha liking rice is like mandatory for being a Japanese fanatic. So I <laughs> I keep on my shelf at all times some cow rose rice for me to make. And here, f fun fact, here's some sushi that I have like stored on my shelf here that I make rice balls with. And cool thing to add on to that is back here I have this thing thing. Very descriptive. It's it's like a it's like a staple punch hole thing. Lots of puberty words. And you like you punch you put seaweed in in here and you press this and it makes a little face and it comes out the bottom and then you put it on rice balls and it's really cute and really adorable and I love it. And the tweezers here are to put them on the rice balls. So, little Japanese rice ball trivia for you. And then other, okay, you know what, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> and I have all this ramen up here that I bought that I haven't been eating because rice is so much more convenient to make. And I just quite frequently like it so much better. Get some rice, put some salt on it, and you're good. This is just, there's just too many steps involved. So, I've been eating lots of rice and so, this is my favorite angle, the angle that I quite frankly sit at every day. So, I'm just gonna keep continuing to eat my rice in peace. Thank you. Leave me alone. We are never, ever, ever getting back together. You go talk to your friends, talk to my friends, talk to me. What are you doing? Who's that? Chester C. and. What's her name? Oh, I've seen this one. It's so good. Oh, that's with what's her name? Taryn? Yeah! Taryn South? Yeah, she's really good. Mm hmm. What? Baby, I guess you might as well got to change. Remember how that lasted for a day? I thought you were. Okay, guys, so 
there were these quotes written on these boards, and this one used to say, optimism is the faith that leads to something inspiring. Nothing can be done without hope and confidence. And it's a quote by Helen Keller. Look what it says now. Optimism is the fat that leads to men. Nothing can be done thou ho, Helen Keller. So, on that note, I will see you guys tomorrow for at least another minute. Good night.